Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the transmission fluid on a 2008 Harley-Davidson Road Glide. Uh, first thing you want to do is, I like to, I like to warm up the bike to operating temperature, that way the, the transmission fluid flows out easier and, and also any contaminants in there will more likely to come out with the used oil. Second thing you want to do is either clean the bike or at least clean the area where you're working. Um, important area to clean is uh, where you're putting the, the oil into the engine for the transmission. That's your oil filler cap right here. Um, there's an easy, easy way I found to clean it is to take a soft bristle toothbrush, uh, scrub around the area, loosen up any loose dirt, debris. Then if you got an air hose, take your compressed air and then blow the area to blow away any debris that's there, loose debris. Um, the first step in, in changing your transmission fluid is to remove this uh, oil filler cap. And then the next step is to go underneath here and remove your transmission drain plug, which would be right here. Um, right here. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if this is in focus. Um, but anyway, well, let's get started. The first thing you want to do to change the transmission fluid is to loosen up this uh, oil filler dipstick cap and that takes a 3 8 inch allen wrench and you want to loosen that up all the way. Then come down to your drain plug at the bottom here. Um, I don't know if I can get the camera down there to show you, but I'll try. It takes a 5 8 inch uh, socket. Let's see. There we go. kind of hot so I'm probably going to have to drop this in the oil pan. Not too bad. After you get your oil drained, you want to take your oil drain plug and check this oil seal. Check for any cracks. Um, this is this oil seal here looks like it's kind of shredded, um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Also, at the end of these drain plugs, they have a little magnet here. Um, you want to check for if there's a large amount of metal on this. You might want to consult with. Uh, Salt with your, your mechanic. Um, like, like you can see on this one, there's not much there. There's a little bit there, which is normal. But um, you want to clean that off. Then go ahead and reinstall your drain plug and tighten it uh, from, from 14 to 21 foot-pounds. I'm going to tighten this one to 17 foot-pounds. Once you get that tightened, um, the next step is to add the oil. 
once you get your transmission oil drained and your, your drain plug back in, uh, you can add the new oil. Um, so take out your filler dipstick cap, set that aside. Um, Harley-Davidson makes two types of oils for this transmission. One is called um, Harley-Davidson Formula Plus uh, Transmission and Chain Case Lubricant. Uh, that's one choice, or you can use uh, their synthetic Sin 3, which you can use in, in the in, in this bike, you can use it in the transmission um, engine and uh, chain case. So that's what I'm using as a synthetic. Um, this transmission holds 32 ounces, so that's exactly one quart. So go ahead and add the one quart. Once you get the oil in the transmission, you can you can reinstall your uh, dipstick fill plug. Um, there is a seal on this plug. You want to check it for cracks. If there's any cracks, replace it. Um, and this this dipstick should be tightened from 25 to 75 inch pounds. Once this bike is on a lift, once I get it off the lift, I'm going to put it on its chiffy stand and check the transmission oil level. Uh, it should be full. It's it, it holds 32 ounces, and I just put one cord in. Um, and the way you check this is you don't screw this uh, cap in, you just lay it on the threads like so and then you remove it and the oil level should be in between the low mark and the high mark. Um, and then once I got the oil level right I'm going to re reinstall this dipstick, tighten it up from 25 to 75 inch pounds and then uh, go for a ride and if, uh, check for any leaks, uh, especially around the drain plug. Um, if there's if you don't have any leaks, the oil levels uh, correct, then you're set to go. Uh, thanks for watching.